Hey, aloha. Hi everyone. Today we're gonna do a little video on uh, all things shrunken, bow shrunkens, and uh, what I consider pretty much three different classes of shrunkens that you can get today on the internet. Uh, from the cheapy ones that are okay, like beginner knives, something that after about a week you realize you kind of made a mistake. To the average ones from Cold Steel and Honshu that are pretty good. Uh, you can get them, sometimes they're very hard to find, but they're pretty decent for the money. And to a rare find that I actually found only one company so far that pretty much does, um, I, I guess, custom made shronikens. I'm not sure where they're made, but they're definitely hand touched and finished and sharpened here in the US. Uh, it's uh, by a guy named Rob. He's been a martial artist for something like 40 years. He runs a site called uh, the Samurai Connection. No relation to this. This is a cold steel t-shirt, by the way. Um, anyway, I wanted to show you uh, because I'm very excited about it and being very active in the knife throwing community, people always ask about Chinese stars, four shronikens, shronikens, and I've been collecting them for a long time. I actually have some that are 45 years old uh, that I bought in New York when I was 14, which tells you I'm 59. Um, and even at 59, I'm still like a young kid, loving the Chinese stars, loving shronikens, knives, axes, cleavers, the whole bit. Uh, so without further ado, I'm gonna go sit down and go through a little bit of uh, spiel inside, show you what I think it's worth it and not worth it and why, and then we'll go outside and do a little bit of throwing. So it may be a long video, probably my longest video yet. Uh, it's only my third video knife throwing. My other ones are about, are about ukulele, barefoot running, music. So I kind of wanted to change it up a bit since the, my passions these days are a little bit different. Uh, on a side note, at my age, 59 it's amazing to do knife throwing i find it very uh, almost aerobic the bending down constantly walking back and forth throwing your shoulder your legs everything gets involved so after about 30 minutes to an hour i i, I get a nice sort going and i'm enjoying it very much anyway um i'll see you one uh in a second all right so here we are uh we're indoors we're gonna be doing a couple of things today so I'm not sure which order this will be in, but anyway, this is the inside portion of it. And first of all, what I wanted to do is uh, show the three types of shronikens uh, that people use, or well, actually that I have found three. I classify them into three. This is my shroniken bag, by the way. And so the average person, they start throwing or they're martial artists and they want to do shronikens and watch a lot of martial arts movies and buy these. You buy these on the internet for, I don't know, $7.99, $10.99, and so on. And if you're not that lucky or you get uh, enticed by the advertisement price post, you find these little ones. They come in five packs. You can even see them. These are two, three, two, three inch ones that are slight as a feather. The problem with that is that uh, they bounce all over the place. They're actually more dangerous than they're worth it. What I wanted to do was break this video down into the kind of things that you should I should definitely not do and obviously the recommendation of what I, I my favorite thing. First thing you do not want to do is buy small shronikens or knives or anything for that matter when it comes to throwing. To a degree the bigger they are the heavier they are the better they stick the better they throw the more stability these go like that and they go all over the place so let's not waste any more time on that. These are nice. They're very, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> They're very sexy. Very, you know, Chinese movie kind of thing, bling and all that. The problem with these are two things. The size is still not great. The weight is definitely not there. The biggest issue is that they're razor sharp. Why do you need all these edges? You know how hard it is to grab a handful of these to throw? I've gotten cut. Yes, they're beautiful, maybe for a wall piece, for a collection. But like everybody else, I've made the mistake of buying these sexy, beautiful things that end up cutting my fingers, end up bouncing, almost going into my eyes and so on. So enough of that. Now, there's a middle grade, kind of like uh, the Gilhaven uh, throwing knives or the uh, Smith & Wesson throwing knives. You know, you're on a budget, you go to Amazon, you go to a couple other knife sites and walk on what's available. There is always a reliable company, an entry-level company, mid-level company called Steel. 
they have these very nice looking stars. No, mind you, they do not come in this blink colors. The reason they are like this is because I painted them with Rust-Oleum a couple of coats. The reason why I did that is I hate losing my stuff in the grass and also the cold steel come in three different weights. If you can see the thickness, this ones are pretty heavy. Look at that. Versus the lighter ones, which are nice. Mind you, these all stick. They're very nice. Nothing against them at all for, for the most part. Oops. Good size. Nice to throw, good trajectory. Uh, the only problem is they're very hard to find. A lot of people don't carry them. And this is the one model. They're three different weights, it's great, but it's one model. So, you know, it's good. Apple from that is the Honshu. I believe these are made by uh, United Cutlery. They're a sweet, they're slick, they're sexy. Seven inch ones, I believe. These are my favorites just because of the size. And they have a nice profile. They are thin, but they're heavy. Mind you, um, I have nothing much against them. The only issue is that the very first time I uh, threw one against the other, it kind of caught a burn to that. And I had to shave it. I don't know if you can see it, but I had to sand it out. But they're nice. These, you can almost not find on the internet, the big ones. This, you can kind of find them. I forget how much they are. They're like, I don't know. 15 bucks a piece. These end up being like 20, I don't know. But they're worth having. I definitely recommend them. Nothing wrong against them. So that's the middle tier that I would say if you're into throwing stars and you just want to poke around and spend a little money. Bunch of stars or salt steel stars. Highly recommend it. Now, let's get to the reason why I'm actually sharing all this with you guys is because I found a company excuse me, called uh, Samurai Connection, the samuraiconnection.com. And when I found out a little bit looking about the history of that company, uh, it turns out there's a gentleman, Rob, uh, I forget his last name at the moment, but uh, he's been a martial artist for 40 years and he's developed this philosophy that he wants to give the tools to martial arts that people can afford that are the real thing. So he has come out with a list of, I don't know, 25 models maybe, 20? of uh, shronikens and ball shronikens. Um, and these guys are like the real thing. These things are amazing. And I wanted to share them with you because of a few things. Nobody knows they're there and they're available. They're great. They're very good quality. I'm not sure where they're made, but they're finished in the US. And look at that, look at the thickness. These things are like two different knives put together. This one does, I didn't paint it. The reason for the paint, as I'm sure I said it already in the video, is so that I can find them and I also can tell them, sort them by color or type of metal and so on. The variety on these, these are thinner. They come in three different steels. I believe it's 10G, 14G and armor, armor uh, steel. Obviously, like anything else, if you bounce them against each other, they are going to get burst. I mean, nothing's indestructible. Hence why you have multiple targets. But look at the sharpness. Now, the sharpness on this is one you can touch. It's sharpened so that it will go dig into airflow. It will fly better. And when it goes to sticking, it's going to stick. This is sharp. And you can get them sharp or unsharpened. It's like $2 more for sharpened. Uh, a couple more shapes that are classic. This is a unique one. I'm waiting for a couple more. These are tri points, they're beautiful. And obviously, it's ones that kind of can have a little controversy. Swastika looking ones, uh, they're not German or anything like that. I mean, the swastika has been a symbol of actually for peace and other things uh, across history. Where else do you get these? Where else do you get them with that kind of thickness? And where else do you get them sharpened if you want to? Wow. And that's not all they have. They have four shurikens. Uh, these are another tip that I probably repeated already. I always buy sets of three or six. Reason behind that is you throw one, you miss, you adjust. You throw the second one, it's a little better. The third one's perfect. As opposed to throwing it, miss, come back. Now, where was I sitting, standing? 
how was I standing and so on. So by doing that, you reduce the variables. You enjoy your time more and I think you develop better consistency. So I believe there's like six types of wall shronicons that uh, the Samurai connection has. These are double-edged spikes. My blue ones. Versus my green ones, eight inch single edge spikes. You may like to throw like that, which is fine. And you don't like the idea of having a double one on your hand, but it works. Either one, I actually like both. The both Ronicans are two different sizes and weights. And then these, which I'm not even sure what to call them, teardrop, arrow point. They're awesome though. All right, so I'm gonna cut the video and do a little bit of weighing as the last thing to show you the difference. And we'll talk a little bit about that. So, what I wanted to show you guys was a, one of the criteria besides size for anything that you throw comes into play is the size. I mean, you throw this, this has like almost no energy across the air. It's gonna bounce all over the place. It's gonna bounce high, maybe even in your eye. You throw this baby, it's got size, it's got uh, aerodynamics and it's gonna fly like a knife. The other criteria is the weight. Throw something like this on the scale, it's uh, 12.9 grams, 13 grams. That's a joke. Anything under 40, 50 grams, I would not bother with. So please, again, I can't say it enough, don't bother with these for a keychain maybe. No, they're too sharp anyway. Oh yeah, they come razor sharp, which is ridiculous. 13 grams, waste of money. This one's better, let's see. Yeah, I mean that, and they do stick. I won't deny that these stick. They are good size, but they're so sharp. The metal will probably break. And the biggest thing is they're very hard to handle. These, again, very out. See what I mean? <laughs> You'll never catch me going out with these, unless it gets thrown at me. But with these, yes. Here's another cup waiting to happen. All right, not good. You want something better? Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Hold on a second. <laughs> these. Uh, these babies are 45 years old. I bought them back in New York when I was 14, 42nd Street, I've thrown them. As you can see, they're, they're just, I don't know, man. They're real, they, the sharpness of their points are amazing. The quality, they're small, but they weigh. Let's see. Yeah, look at that, 55, and like I said, 40 and up. 55 grams, I can't complain. Yeah, same thing, 55. These are a very personal, this is my oldest ones. Anyway, let's keep going. I don't want to hold you guys up too much. Uh, cold steel, the light ones. Look at that, 80, 80 grams, not bad. I get a little heavier. Wow, 126, you got knives that are light on that. And the heavy ones, which are maybe almost a little too heavy. Uh, 180, 180 grams, wow. Let's check out the uh, Samurai connection. Sweet, 105 grams for this baby. Look at that. Whew. I know the one of the same. Oh, actually, they come in, I have two different ones. Let's see the sharp one. 92, a little smaller, a little. But look at that baby. Ugh. That's why I'm doing this video. We need to share. These are thinner. But because of the steel that they are, they are very nice and hard. And because of the tips, they're guaranteed to stick pretty much. And even now the lights, 878 grams, not bad at all. Spikes, let's see, I my minimum, oh, 41. Not bad for a spike, eight inch spike. Let's see, last one, we can finish on this. Ooh, 133, sharp. Eight pointed. I'm waiting for a couple more of these. These are these, and these are my favorite. They're like a nice transition between knives and stars. So anyway, I hope this helps. Hope you have fun, and let's go outside and throw some, and uh, enjoy it.
Aloha. And everybody out there and throwing knives, axes, the whole bit. Anyway, um, I just want to, since it's, it's a little cold out today, it's about 55 here in New England, but it's warm enough that I can use the outside range. And so what I wanted to do was do a little video about shronikens and both shronikens in general. And in particular, I want to highlight products from a, a place called uh, the Samurai Connection that uh, makes absolutely what I think are the best ones. They actually, the uh, genuine thing, if you will. But uh, I'll go more into that in, in, in part of this video. Uh, for now, this is a portion where I want to do some throwing, compare some of the standard ones you buy at every other cutlery store and compare some better ones from Cold Steel and eventually compare the uh, Samurai Connection one so you can make a, your mind up. Um, but briefly, just this is my area target outside. It's got uh, ingrained targets behind um, and it's got regular rod rounds that I hang around in uh, on top. And uh, first of all, I'm going to wet the whole thing. And actually, I think for this, I'm going to take the log rounds off and use the end grain. So, that's easy enough. And then I'm going to use my trusty uh, water sprayer. You always want to wet the targets, make things stick better makes the wood heal faster. So what I did is I bought the ones I use for like the weed sprays and such and just use water. I put a little antifreeze, uh, not antifreeze, uh, windscreen wiper fluid to keep it from uh, frosting. Anyway, so just a matter of spraying it for a little. Da, 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 da. These end grade targets were made, uh, I don't know, somewhere in the US. I bought them in Etsy, about $100 each, but they're so worth it. I do not throw axes on the heavy stuff to these. Uh, that's why I have log rounds for, uh, but it's a nice setup. Anyway, so here's the stuff that we're gonna be throwing today. Uh, just a little bit at a time because I don't wanna make this video too long. But as you can see, uh, let's starting off with the worst. When you get things like this that are two, three inches, at most, and they're so light, they're gonna bounce all over the place and basically harm you more than it harms whatever target you're trying to shoot. Uh, these are the standard ones. These are what we all buy. These are the ones that we all get cut on because these are more like to cut vegetables or maybe to put on the bottom of a blender. They look beautiful, something you see right out of the movies, but these are a pain in the ass to throw. They're very light. They're kind of thin on the thin side. So uh, mainly the weight, they don't con they're not conducive to throwing, but the main thing is this, all the sharp edges that look so nice and sexy will actually, you know, hurt you every time you try to touch them or pick them up. And if you uh, unsharpen them, it's a lot of work with a lot of points. And is it really worth a, I don't know, $7.99, $10.99 that you pay for them? I think not. Here we have uh, a little better one, still on the cheap side, but yeah, they're okay. Uh, comparable to Smith & Wesson knives. These, believe it or not, these two I've had for uh, 45 years, since I was 14. Bought them in New York City in 42nd Street. I don't know how genuine they are, but man, they have lasted my whole life. I didn't throw much growing up, but obviously these have a very big sentimental uh, meaning to me. And before I show you the running ones, I mean, I'm sorry, they are. Uh, Samurai connection ones. These, now, these are the only ones that I actually do start say, recommending. They look funny because I painted them. I kind of like the look. I wanted to distinguish them. They come in three different uh, weights. These are the famous cold steel uh, stars. They come in three different weights. They can be a little expensive. I like cold steel, they're middle of the road quality. Not bad at all considering Shronikens are hard to find. Let me uh, show you guys another one that's very, Hard to find, but very good. Very slick. These are the uh, Honshu uh, throwing stars. They're very, very nice. They come in two sizes, seven inch, which are the big boys. The only the ironic part is I love these so much and I went to try them the very first time. One put a big chip into one of these and I had to shave it down. So that kind of made me put a little sour note on the whole uh, trying it out for the first time.
Wrong end. <laughs> double nice and one last one these uh stick pretty well with enough of a target you don't have to bump into them a couple times i miss it's very simple because i threw them with this side it was a double but other than that it's pretty good let's move on all right let's get the uh the negative stuff out of the way shall we these they're painted uh orange not that it's a big deal the main thing is these are so light, they're gonna practically poke your eye out. That's the main reason why I have safety glasses on today. These, I should have gloves on. These are beautiful, awesome and all that, and kind of cheap. But the steel is not that heavy because, uh, so between the weight and all the sharp points, they will cut you up, they will bounce around, and they'll pretty much hurt you more than it hurts any target. So let's get them out of the way, see if they stick anyway. This is what I hell of it. Oh, look at this mold. Ready? So you're going to notice with these that uh, they probably will stick just because I've been doing it for a while and the targets are really good. But watch when they bounce back uh, and also they're a pain in the neck to handle. I mean, you always uh, got to be careful that you don't cut yourself out every session. But let's give it a shot anyway. Ah, see if there we go. Ah, look at that. It bounced almost right back to me. Whoa. All right, so actually I did pretty good, but they do have some bounce backs. And if you notice the ricochet was kind of a little bit bad. Uh, I'm also not throwing with a lot of force because I only use the force that I need to stick. I don't have to do so it. So here we are moving up the scale, as I would call it. These are 45 year old stars that I, I bought. Oh, sorry, not those, these. I bought these when I was in New York City, bought them right on 42nd Street when I was about 14. They're just personal favorites, obviously. Here we have some cold steel, light and medium weight stars. Uh, these are pretty good. I actually recommend them. Typical cold steel. The only problem is they only have this one model and they're actually hard to find. Same thing with the Honshu. Honshu stars are very nice. They're a little too thin for my liking, but they're very impressive. They stick really well. And these, if you can actually find them somewhere on the internet, they're seven inch stars, they're beautiful. Hard to get, a little pricey. But let's try them and see what happens. So, as you can see, these uh, have that little lovely whack, the one that brings us to the throwing range every time. They have the whack of a knife. They stick in pretty well, look at that. These are the cold steel ones. Where you gotta, and you know, they kinda start to get to a professional side because as you can see, they're not super sharp. They're pointy. The weight and energy of the throw is what makes them stick not the sharpness of the blade. Ah. Okay, so here we come to the last portion of this video, I suppose. Uh, what I want to show was they highlight uh, what I have found, which I'm shocked in 2020, to actually find a manufacturer of a real, honest to goodness, what I would call genuine shronikens. Uh, the quality in this are just amazing. Check it out. Look at the thickness of that like a mini throwing knife. These are like two knives put together in a cross. These are my favorite. I will not say the names because I just butchered them. They do come in certain weights, but they also come in different steels. This will never miss, obviously. And the main thing too that I like is they're all like hand quality. Uh, they're sharpened by hand if you choose to do the sharpening. And again, the sharpening is not the type that's gonna cut me. It's more for aesthetic and airflow and obviously to, to, uh, to stick well. 
The other thing I like is the quality. The different variety they have a limited catalog but every single one of them is a winner as far as i'm concerned so pretty much any chance i get i plan to buy another set i always just uh, as a side note i always get either three or if it's absolutely great six of uh, anything i throw because with three you can fill once adjust in the middle and do great in the third shot instead of walking back and forth with six even better so i find that to develop technique having three or six of any specific type of implement works really great so let's throw some of the uh, samurai connection uh shronikens and see how they work out all right Whoa, full side, baby. That's where the sharp one, by the way. So, I'm only gonna throw them once because you can see how good it is actually. A lot of them. Uh, first thing you notice is they stick. Check it out. Look at that. Oh, that much. All stick like that, both sides. Jeez, pretty much, and so on. And the other reason why we don't need to do this again is because it's getting a little darker. But if you notice, if you notice when I throw, they all went nice and straight. Look at that. All the, if you look back at the other shronikens, they were all over kind of a little bit lopsided and like this and like that. And they kind of thudded into it. These man, they thunk into it. Look at that. I sent them exactly where I went. If you notice that video, I went literally in a line like this to cover the whole target, which is amazing that I have so much control. And I'm just a beginner. So I love these things, Samurai Connection. Wow. Right now I think they have a sale, but even when they don't, I think they're absolutely worth it. Get them a little out of time. I did, I got lucky there was a sale. So, and I bulk, bought a little bit of bulk, but totally worth it. Uh, if you can't get those, I would do cold seal maybe, but stay up for the Samurai Connection. It's absolutely worth it. I'll see you inside. Man, that's a lot of freaking steel. Whoa, look at that. Could probably do a game of thrones throne with this <laughs> samurai connection they rock amazing stuff so yeah so i hope this has helped you guys a little bit uh, i know that's i've got a lot of good ideas for the throwing communities uh while i don't endorse companies in general i gotta say the samurai connection uh look at me good at christmas amazing quality tools to throw the real thing very reasonable prices, great quality. If for some reason, I, which I don't know, understand why you would not go there, try the Cold Steel or the Honshu Stars. But whatever you do, please stay away from the mass produced 7.99 Amazon specials and so on. Uh, they just, if you're gonna hang them on the wall, awesome, get them. If you're gonna throw them, don't bother. Don't waste your money. Samurai Connection, Cold Steel, Honshu, Yeah.